Black Star have made a flavour for everyone. Just in front of us, we have the brand new Studio 10 range from Blackstar. Yeah. The EL34 and the 6L6. Uh, that's right. So, yeah, as you see the, the the two amps in front of us, we've got one that's in a gorgeous cream with oxblood uh, mesh, and then we've got this classic black Tolex with white piping. But it's not just, it's not just looks um, not. that these amps are different. They share the same preamp in both cases, uh, valve-driven, so it's an ECC83 um uh running the the preamp it's 10 watts both 10 watt amps so that's quite quite a sort of standard what you'd expect on a low water jamp in in the preamp but then the power amps are where they've changed things up and that's what makes them sound that's what makes them sound completely different which is which is really cool i love that they've done like something for everyone here so on the um on the black one it's uh, an el34 um which gives you kind of like it that's a very a very British, British valve, so British. So it gives you like a low gain boutique, you know, old school, um, sort of rough and ready, a little bit muddy, classic British um, sound, uh, tone, uh, which is super cool. And then they've, because they want these amps to be able to do more than one thing, and of course they're only 10 watts and they're valve driven, they've added like a preamp booster in there, which so you can drive that ECC 83 and get more like classic rock and roll riffs, like a little bit more crunch. Um, so this is super cool, a, a low wattage, very retro sounding amp. I'm really into this. <laughs> I'm, I'm obviously I side more with this one because yeah this is more like what your Fender exactly clean, sparkly so so shares the same preamp valve 6L6 in the power amp uh, which you'd normally get in bass amps or Fender amps so like big Ampeg SVT stacks or big clean Fender amps so yeah sparkly clean mm. but then there's the question and it looks great and it looks amazing but there is also the question because Blackstar then they want to do more now of course if you were to get like um you know if you were to get a blues junior or something like that by fender well it only does one sound because it's a low wattage valve amp and Blackstar want these to do more than that and of course you can't really drive a 6l6 at 10 watts like you're not going to get much crunch out of it and certainly fenders you know aren't really known for their you know their great sounding crunch tones so what they've done is they've added a drive circuit in there taken from their HT, the Blackstar, the HT drive that that it sounds fantastic, but it's very it's a very modern, very tight sounding drive, which I think is a really interesting tone to mix in there. So you've got like a pedals drive, and then you've got a super clean sort of Fender style amp. So they're kind of they're kind of amps for everyone. Yeah, both do clean, both do drive. But in a very different way. This is way. British. This is American. Yeah. But then the way they deal with drive is very different. This by boosting the preamp. This by add, adding a completely artificial drive circuit. I think it's really cool. This is really interesting. In a time when like small 10, 15 more amps are, mm. are kind of flavour of the month. I, I think like how they split them and kind of offering it out, you know. Mm.
the black star studio tens what do you think let us know in the comments below and if you want to see more videos like this one then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we shall see you very soon